Hi, I'm Ryan Cunningham with Beyond the Tent, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the BioLite Sunlight 100 Camping Lantern. This is actually one of my favorite lanterns that I bring on almost all my camping trips these days. So let's shed some light on this lantern. It's actually a very simple little camping lantern. It's a uh, hundred lumens on high, and I believe it has like a three to four hour runtime on high. But then if we set it to low, it's a 50 hour runtime, which I love that. I'm typically using my lanterns on low when I'm out camping. On the back, we have a little solar panel and we can actually charge the lantern up in seven hours, fully charged or if we use the uh, USB port, it's two hours. So what I like is that seven hour charge time uh, during the day, I can set it out at our campsite, get it all charged up. I can even, I, I go canoe camping a lot in the BWCA here in Minnesota. You can set it out in the canoe while you're canoeing all day. Just attaching this onto the strap of your Duluth pack or your uh, backpacking pack. And you can just have this sit there and sit on your back all day, charge up. Seven hours of sunlight's not that hard to get when you're out uh, running around in the woods all day. Um, the Sunlight 100 weighs in at 3.4 ounces, and it's it's the size, I mean, it's the size of a, you know, half a graham cracker, a little, little bit bigger, obviously thicker, but Size and weight for me are my absolute most important deals when I'm packing for my trips. Um, being a father of seven, I typically end up being the one carrying the most weight. I'll have a pack on me that weighs 60 pounds at least every single time. So being able to pack a lantern at three ounces versus if you've seen some of our other videos on like the, the Ozark Trail, Walmart's lantern, or even some of the nicer brands like Goal Zero. A lot of these lanterns weigh in between one and two pounds. And for me, every pound counts. So if I can carry a lantern that's only three ounces, I'm carrying a lantern that only weighs three ounces. You are not able to charge a device with this. You can only charge this. So you cannot count on this to charge up your phone or anything like that. It's got a nice little kickstand. Really other than that, it's just a lantern that charges, it's light and it's small, but it does have a couple fun features. My kids like bringing this one along too. So all the controls are just with one single button on here. And it's just a matter of clicking through the different options or holding it in to go uh, brighter or dimmer. So if I turn it off, one click turns it on, another one goes green, another one for blue. If I, if I turn it on and then press it in and hold it, It'll go either brighter or dimmer, depending on, so we're at our brightest. Now if I press it in and hold it, we're gonna go dim, and it'll flash once, I believe, when we hit our dimmest. There we go, now we're at our dimmest. Oh, it is worth mentioning too, before we move on, it's an IPX4 water rating, meaning it can be splashed on from any direction, which in reality means it can sit out in the rain, but it cannot be submerged in water. So let's go ahead and shut the lights off and see how this looks. All right, this is on low. Now let's go ahead and go high to 100 lumens. And at this 100 lumens, you're gonna get, uh, I believe it was between three to four hours of battery life, or on low, you're gonna get about 50. We'll flip it over to green light, a little bit easier on the eyes, and blue light, which is really nice if you wake up in the middle of the night. There we go, I thought it had more colors. So if you wanna have a disco party out in the woods, we're halfway there. We just need to bring the glass ball and we're set. To be honest, I'm not gonna use uh, flashing multiple color lights when I'm out camping. That's a feature that just uh, doesn't matter to me, but it's cool nonetheless. So there we have it. The BioLite Sunlight 100. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more gear reviews, recipes, and how-tos.